What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Nimbus and we are here that Nintendo's gonna new uh, going to do a new Nintendo Direct. So let's get into it. Let's go. All right guys, so as we know and we heard yesterday uh, that Nintendo was gonna pull out uh, a new Nintendo Direct for September today. Uh, so yeah, super interested. There's a lot that is gonna happen here. There's, there's gonna be a long Direct. It's gonna be like 40 minutes. And as you can see, this is gonna be, uh, they're gonna focus on uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3. But there's a lot of things that could happen. Supposedly there's leaks about a new character for Smash whether it's a, a SNK character, we don't know who. A lot of people are saying Terry. You know, I'm super interested in that because I haven't bought like the the character pack yet, and I've been waiting for a character. And if it's an SNK character, that's gonna make me want to get the that whole DLC now. There's a lot. We still don't know if they're gonna talk about a uh, Bayonetta three. Maybe Metroid. I doubt it. Maybe Zelda. I doubt that as well. Uh, there's a lot of things that is about to happen. I know it's about to start right now. It starts at 6 o'clock. For me, I'm on Eastern Time, and they're usually very punctual about it. So, yeah, um, it's as of right now, it's 5. Oh, it just turned 6 o'clock. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to start right about now. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of information. So, I wanted to record. There you go. It just started. I told you it was going to start right away. Put on the headphones so I can hear what's going on. That way I could do this reaction live with you guys. Well, not really with you guys, but you know what I mean. Oh, so it's true. The rumors of Overwatch is true. Now the question is, is it gonna launch today? A lot of people have been saying there's so many rumors about this. It's been leaked to hell about Overwatch coming to the Switch. I'm not a fan of Overwatch, but I'll, I'll try it on the Switch. I know a lot of people are going to be into this. 100%. Now, is it crossplay? Oh, so it's going to have uh, gyro controllers. It looks cool. It, it, this is a game that's gonna work well on the Switch. So I'm not. I'm not. I was actually. I'm actually surprised it even took this long for Overwatch to get to the Switch. Oh wow! Why so far away? I would have thought this was like, yeah, releasing today. Hello everyone. All right. Anyways, I'm ready. I'm with Cappy. Cappy's gonna give me good luck. Let's hope that that SNK rumor is true about Smash because I'm going to be happy. The latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th. So please... It's right around the corner. Literally okay, next month. Let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking excited right now. <laughs> okay. We knew that we're going to talk about Luigi's Mansion 3, which Luigi's I'm so freaking excited about. This is my favorite Mario brother is Luigi. Theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? That's cool, I guess. Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, really? a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. It may not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With oh, is this is online? Which system? Two to eight players can battle it wow. out. Wow. That's actually really cool. Defeat the most ghosts. Now, is it going to run Collect well? Most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Yeah, just we knew in time that already. For Halloween. We knew this already. I like that online. 
Get What's a load this? of this new free-to-start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Okay, didn't they have something like this on the 3DS? I'm pretty sure they did. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies. Uh, th I'm gonna download this. I'm. I'm a super big Kirby fan. Like my favorite Nintendo character is Kirby. So if this is free, on top of the hell yeah, I'm getting this. You can play alone, together on one system. Online co-op. I like that. Or online co-op. Yes. Now is the online good Nintendo? Nintendo. I hope one of the things you talk about today. I'm, I'm excited about this. But let's see them Super Nintendo games. When Super Kirby Clash Come on, talking about the online today, and we gotta see this. It's free to we gotta see this. Too. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, it's start today. I'm downloading it today. Great. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After what is 25 it? years, I didn't read. What is fans it? of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. Trials of Mana. Ooh. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist. Oh, that's really cool. Companions. I like the this. Once you choose, will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now Did this come on the other consoles? To dear Jessica, if I die, this interference will not be forgotten. No. As each oh, no. character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and mm. abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Man. I like that. April Is it a physical? Hope it's not a digital only. This what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship, observe the situation, and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew. This looks solved weird. The, the, the art style of the game is interesting. Return of the it's almost like a 3D fall Game Boy game. Like it looks, see, like it, that looks like a Game There's Boy game, like title. Out there with a big secret. Is this the town? Little the town hero. Town. So that's that the, the, the official name now, Little Town Hero. Because before it was like codenamed Town. One day, there suddenly. I'm interested in this game because this is the the, the creators of Pokemon did this uh, game free. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. What? But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Ideas. Strategy is everything. If there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from town. See, my question now is that now that Game Freak has made a game like this, can we see a Pokemon like this? Opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. Just saying. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Wow. So the music's gonna be dope. Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch. I'm, I'm intrigued by this game. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Oh! It's coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Here we go. Here we go. The release date of Challenger Pack Three: Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. Okay. 
When is it? And the release date is today. Oh, okay, that's cool. Today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing it all the Banjo and Kazooie. It all depends on if this SNK rumor is true, whether I'm going to buy this. Because I'll download it today. And I'll play some Banjo-Kazooie. I'm not saying like I don't like the characters. The character's cool. I love the fact that Banjo-Kazooie is in Smash. But... Eh. Is this it? Oh, we're going to find out. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is what I want to know. Is it going to be literally... Terry, or is it going to be uh, this guy from Samurai Showdown? I forgot his name. I'm not thinking. Ah! Yes, it is! Oh, ho, ho, my goodness. Oh, I'm losing my mind right now. Is it Terry? Wow! Is it? Oh, it could never be Rock. Oh, they're all trying to get it. Uh, Geese? Geese is not going to get it. No way. He was already in Tekken. That's it. Stay in Tekken. Oh, they're going to go through the games? All right, so we did... Uh, uh, <laughs> we did Final Fight. Okay, King of Fighters. Oh, I love the way they're doing this. I love the way Nintendo and SK are doing this. They're literally going through, like, all the games. Oh, they're not going to go through all the games. Okay. Yup, it's Terry. It looks like it's Terry. It looks like it's Terry. It is Terry. Yup. It's Terry. It looks like I'm getting the DLC. Wow. I'm so hyped for this right now. Hell yeah, I'm hyped for this right now. Fatal Fury. Oh, it's all in November. Well, that's not that far. Wow. Oh, we got one more character left? Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Oh my god. Can there really be only one left? Are you gonna just give up? The, are you gonna just tell us right now? Of course, I knew that already. Of course, of course. I'm not even surprised by that. That'd be stupid if you guys. Of course, that would be stupid if Nintendo wouldn't do this. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I'm not even surprised by this. Whoever thought that Nintendo was gonna stop so, making bringing think? characters for Smash? What was Come on! About additional fighters oh, I'm so excited for Terry in this. We'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time to wake the Windfish in okay. the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. So we're gonna get Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening, Link's Awakening news. Fast approaching. Okay. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. That's fine. Face a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Kirby? Whatever happens. Help Link escape. That's right. I think Kirby was there, wasn't he? Mysteries get the best of him. Yeah, I can't wait the for the game. The all-new chamber dungeon. You can place chambers earned on I'm your own. Definitely picking this up when I pick up my dungeons. Nintendo Switch lights. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. Really? The Legend of Zelda Link's That's Awakening cool. will launch before you know it on September 20th. Yeah. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI X. Um, an elusive age definitive edition is exactly a lot of people are giving is giving this game like so much props. You to choose and I literally am not that points. into it, but Travel I think I'm gonna try it out. I heard that the demo's like mad long and all the work that you did in the demo passes on in the actual game when you get it. 
So, downloadable content can be found in the champions pack. And everyone's like loving this game, like completely loving this game. So, I'm gonna have members. to try this game. An RPG giant draws near. Like for real, it is an RPG giant. This Dragon's Quest Dragon is Quest huge in Japan. Echoes of an huge. elusive age definitive edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo Switch. That's the demo I was telling you about. And it's like supposed to be like super long. Okay, what else? We're like we're only 13 minutes in. Wow. Fire emblem goodness? Eh. Then say hello to Tokyo. This I'm not too. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths. Wait, what? And the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. A new Tokyo Mirage is coming to the, the Switch. Story takes place in modern day Tokyo. Is it a new so one or is a a port from the Wii U? Forma, which attracts wicked mirages. I heard Tokyo Mirage was a actually a really good game. I never played it. Uh, I'm thinking about picking it up for the Wii U because I know it's gonna be like one of the hard games to find on the Wii U later down the line. Will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn -based Now, what I want to know is this a port from the Wii U or is this like a brand new? And Entry. in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Oh, so sure this is a port. The other new features from the new story I know a lot of people are going to be happy about this port. I know people hate like Wii U time. ports, but come on. Hey, Wii U didn't sell that well. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore. Short FE Encore. Yeah, it's a, it's a port. I might just pick up both, uh, the Switch and the Wii U version, and leave the Wii U sealed. I just might Welcome do that. Back to where nothing is what it seems. What is this? Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. What is this? But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo wow. Switch in 2020. And that now looks for a shocker, I mean... the original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Also, so we're getting part one today. Part two next year. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. I've actually never seen this game before. It's probably because it's not my cup of tea. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that play these type of games. I'm almost positive. Oh, that's dope. You could save your data in the cloud from Steam and to the Switch. So you could play on Steam and continue playing on the Switch. That's dope. Now that is dope. I like that. So if you have the game already on, like you're playing the game on now Steam, because I'm pretty sure this game came out on Steam on steam you can play it on steam and you're leaving continue playing it on your switch because your data is saved to the cloud that is dope come on let me see the new doom game i'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on nintendo 64. well this year is the 25th anniversary of doom one of the most popular first person shooter franchises ever. i might have to agree with that and to celebrate i like doom re and i'm not a fan of first person games, shooter games doom 64. wow for the first time since its original release in 1997 doom 64 so they've released doom one on doom two doom, doom three doom and now doom 64. action packed levels or if you're a newcomer Experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. To be honest, what Bethesda, what Bethesda should have Doom done will release on Nintendo Switch today on November twenty-second uh, this year. That's dope. I like that. 
What they should have done is made a portable, not a portable, a physical pack bundle of IP Doom 1, Doom 2, Studios, Doom 3, Rogue and Company. Doom 64 and so put it in one world, cartridge. That would sell like hotcakes, because I would buy that. Real deal. And as one not of a fan of digital. Specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. That looks interesting. How's it going? Nothing crazy. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. All right, Pokemon, come on. Make me want this game. Even though I'm still going to buy it, but make me want this game. Let's take a look. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, You'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Can we get like new evolutions for current Today, Pokemon? Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Wow, that's Once a again, first. The latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Okay, that's 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 dope. Okay, I like that. Believe it or not, I do. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. Really? There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey, okay, I was talking gallery, crap about the Pokemon game with uh, Little Town. Okay, Pokemon looks good. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks way more polished than before. <laughs> like the last time I saw it, it looks actually good. So I, I can't even talk shit about Pokemon right now. Additionally, in the wild area, yeah, it looks really good. Players camps too. I'm, I'm, I like it. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Why? What do we get out of it? Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry? Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Curry. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Curry oh, decks? What's that Pokemon doing here? Yeah, what is that? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First Mrs. is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a Poltegeist. home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. <laughs> okay. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes oh, damage wow. in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Oh, that's dope. I like that. And that's all we have to share with that's you it? today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon yeah, I'm still gonna get Pokemon. launch on Nintendo <laughs> Switch. No I have Pokemon. every single Pokemon game. Like, I have to get it. I'm gonna have well, to get it. How about that? I'm intrigued. There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Gala region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo we're Switch almost, online memberships. Oh no, we're at the halfway point. Nintendo oh, Switch online, let's go Super Nintendo, Nintendo games. Features. 
And now Come on. we're looking to add in an additional library of games. About fudging time! Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo Please let's get the controllers. Let's get those controllers. I want those controllers for the Switch. On Nintendo Switch. Wow. I am so hyped. Starting today. Starting today. Starting today. Starting today. Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing. It's about freaking time, Nintendo. What are you gonna do? Every year you're gonna do a new console. So what? Next year is uh, the N64. Line function will be available from launch. Oh man, I'm so excited. Here are the first games we plan to release. There we go. This is what I want to see. I like all 20 of the games you see on screen. Demon's Crest. Launch tomorrow. Oh, why tomorrow? Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Duh. This offer is exclusively available to. He has a controller in his hand. Show me the controllers. Please enjoy them at no additional. Come on, show me the controllers. Oh. You noticed this? Yes, you? yes, I did notice that. To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch. Two of them, right? Exclusive control. That's what I want to see. Offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. This Super Only Nintendo one? Controller and it's thirty dollars? Oh, is that the, it's the same thing? Because I could buy the the two and sixty uh NES controllers were sixty dollars or seventy dollars, sixty seventy dollars. Be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers. So one is thirty. So you buy two, it's still sixty. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy two of them. I'm cool with that. Oh, I'm so excited, Nintendo! You're listening. You're listening. Nintendo Switch Online members. I love this game. Puzzle battle game. Version 2? 2.0? Free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here. And not okay. for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against what? the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase okay, that's pretty cool. We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. Wow. In a two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player So are you telling me I gotta pay to get two-player mode? And get together with friends to battle via local wireless wow. on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The Not version 2.0 update of Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12 month individual membership will be available September 6th. Shit, am I gonna have to September 6th? Mario and Sonic are ready to kick am it I gonna old have to buy that? in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic I'm not like intrigued with time. these there type of games, but I am actually intrigued by this Mario. one. I don't know if it's because it's the Switch. Skateboarding. But I, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get this game when it comes out. Badminton, gymnastics. It looks actually really good. You know what? There's more where that it looks fun. So I'm I'm intrigued Check by this. These ten retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. That's actually pretty dope. You got the NES all new, all retro, and like Sega and 8 bit, 16 bit. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters. And a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Wow. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Okay, let's see about this game. Release next week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. Yeah, because the first and demo wasn't that great. All of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. 
The full game will also support online play. Hmm. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. Okay. What hides beneath your mech's armor? Hey, the game a looks good. Or a demon. I have to see because I played the first be ready uh, demo and it was like, eh, 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 not that great. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. What? We have a Star Wars, Wars game? Agents of the New Republic is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. While I'm buying that, now is that like a physical or a digital? On some upcoming games. Here we go, new stuff, new stuff. My journey this is not new stuff, we know about this. Mercenary Monster Slayer, your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And we knew about this. All downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Of course. That would be dumb that you don't Become include the that. most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform oh. into an Assassin Hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. I'm actually excited for this. This was one of the rumors. Because Black Flag was actually is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I had it for the PS4. So I'm intrigued by that. Edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. What is this? If you're looking to take your Slayer on the go, or rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear. We still have like ten more minutes. It's about to be six, oh, six thirty now, so we still have ten see, more minutes of stuff. Of I've never heard of this game at all. I don't even know what this game is. It's free to play. In your calendar, more games okay, so we're way. gonna talk about new games now, right? A sizzle reel. Yeah, of course that's coming up. Just dance. All right, we get it. It's just dance. Can we continue? Racing game. It's okay. It looks good. Farm simulator. Great. Not too in intrigued by that or interested in it. Okay, Nini Kuni. Eh. I'm definitely not intrigued by this. I don't care about this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Come on. This I'm interested in. This I'm super interested in. But no date coming soon. Great. Devil May Cry 2, September 19. But is this a physical version? Yeah, that's. I guess that's okay. Pretty cool. Come on, you gotta hit us with a. In the end, How's everything Nintendo. going. Next There's up, nine Animal minutes. Crossing, New Horizons. Oh, Animal Crossing. We revealed many details about the game back in June. So we prepared a video. <laughs> I know this is for you guys. I know a lot of you guys love Animal Crossing, and I don't hate you for it. I ain't mad at you. I get it. I get it. Trust me. Animal Crossing is just not for me. So I'm just gonna watch this and I'll be very quiet for you guys that are interested in this to pay attention and watch what you guys wanna see about it because I'm not. It's not for me. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. 
we'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Wow. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for phone. all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and needed five use the branches. workbench. We only took one. Just saying, just putting that out there. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Nice. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Way Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many Hope ways you guys are enjoying to experience this. I have no the joys of life on. on a deserted I don't know if they're doing a good job or they're going, doing a bad job. Catch you guys can let me know down in the comments. Tend to flowers wow, nice. and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Wow, that was fun. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Wow. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch, too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together no and working together in the same space. With a Nintendo's local so wireless weird with their and internet online connection, swear. you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. Oh, that's great. Okay, there you go. That the makes more whole sense. The scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Is this going to take up the remaining time? Looking? There's what four minutes left. Here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Get the fish. Okay, next year, we all knew this. All right. So, three, three minutes left. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. Come on, Nintendo, what are you going to finish us two. off with? It has to be right. a bang. Next game, you guys always like to finish with a bang. Game. Please give it a look. Mm, come on, Nintendo. Show me the money. What is this? Is this Xenoblade? Wow, we're really getting another port. Is this another port? Are we really gonna finish off with a port? I know people love Xenoblade. Xenoblade is a great to game. Change it? Huh? I think this was also one of the rumors the as well. 
from Xenoblade getting a port. Is, this, is it a, Yeah, we're getting a port. Wow, Nintendo just finished this off with a port. I get it. People love this game. I'm at... Now, I never actually played this game, to be honest. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. Never even played it. But I know that people just love this game. So, I guess it might Monolith Soft's get it now. Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii, on the Wii system, is destined to be... The Wii? Was it the Wii? That was the Wii U. Or was that part two? Chronicles, definitive edition. Well, there you go. That's how much the I know. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Oh, man. They stopped literally two minutes early. Come on, Nintendo. Two minutes early. All right. So let's talk about this. I know this is going to be for um, the Banjo-Kazooie stuff. But we need to talk about what is happening. Okay. So most of the rumors were true. We we still didn't hear anything about Bayonetta 3. Uh, we still haven't heard anything about Metroid. Clearly, we weren't going to hear nothing about um, Breath of the Wild 2. But we got Terry Bogart in Smash, which is awesome. And I'm definitely going to buy the Fighters Pack now. Uh, we definitely got... Uh, Super Nintendo games for the online, Nintendo online, which I don't know why you waited so long, but it looks like they're going to do this every year where they throw out a new console. And if that's the case, I guess I'll be okay with that. But if that's the case, because I think today or this month, September is the one year anniversary of Nintendo's online. So yeah, talking about that, I have to check if I have to buy, pay for my 12 years again. My 12 months again. So, um, so we got Super Nintendo games plus the controller, which I'm super excited about. It was overall, it was a good, it was a, it was a, it was okay. It was a, it was a good, you know, direct, you know, there was, there was certain things that I'm just like, yeah, okay, fine. I'm not interested in that, but I know a lot of people are. So yeah, it was all good. Uh, I hope you guys are excited about what Nintendo threw out today in the direct. I know I am. There's certain things that I'm like super excited for. So yeah, with that being said, guys, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me let me know down in the comments whether or not you guys are happy you thought this direct was trash. Did you think the direct was the best direct ever of all time? Are you excited for what they announced? Are you excited for Terry Bogart in Smash? Because I know I am. Uh, and as always, guys, please, 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 please do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Gaming with Nimbus. Deuces.